Hello everyone. Um, I haven't done one of these rent videos in a while, but this is something that needs to be brought up. And uh, I've actually sent links to other YouTubers that, are, that have a lot more subscribers, but um, I was on IGN and I was reading an article on here. I have my uh, laptop right here. But it's talking about the Nintendo Wii and PlayStation Vita version of EA Sports FIFA 13 and how FIFA 13 for the Vita and the Wii are pretty much exactly the same game as FIFA 12 from last year. Um, I understand that you know some sports games you know they have incremental updates but this is really just a reskin of last year's game in fact here's how bad it is they put more work into reskinning the Vita version than the Nintendo Wii version in fact it's so bad that unless you're not, unless you're familiar with the the rosters of the players, you're not going to know the difference. You're not. It's going to be very hard to tell the difference between the Wii version of FIFA 12 and FIFA 13 versus the Wii, the Vita version, because they put slightly more effort, but it's still a reskin. It's still the same game as last year's, and this is pretty evident when IGN and when IGN released an article saying don't buy FIFA 13 for the Wii or Vita. They give screenshots, they even went to detail as to why those two versions um, were very delayed in reviews because EA wasn't giving out review copies of the Wii and Vita version. The other versions, oh yeah, they sent everything off but not the Vita and Wii version. And then rumors started going around saying that uh, these two versions are pretty much the same game as last year. And IGN and another site called, um, what is it called? Uh, Nintendo Gamer pretty much confirms that these are the same game as last year's. So EA is selling last year's game at full price. I understand that a lot of people have problems with EA and how EA does certain things, but at least with past games, they've actually done actual effort into making a better game than last year's version. But this takes it to a whole nother level of screwing over the consumers because the average person say like they do have a Vita or Wii and they're big uh, soccer fans or football you know outside the US and they look at it it's like oh FIFA 13's out let me get that version instead of last year's version when when the average person is not going to know that you know, I'm going to know it because, you know, I read articles like this and other people that do keep up with gaming news are going to know about this. But the average person is not going to know this. And we all know that once a new version of a sports game comes out, last year's version is pretty much worthless. But in this case here, they're taking last year's version, which is worth nothing, copy and paste over and just changing the, the title and you know just changing some skins here and there and calling it a brand new game when feature list gameplay exactly the same thing and this is something honestly this is part of the reason why I rarely I don't keep up with sports games because it's getting to the point that this kind of crap it's going to get worse and worse and hopefully this article gets big enough that EA will look at it as like alright 
We're not going to do this again. Honestly, what they should have done was either release at a at a budget price or just not release the game at all. I mean, if they're just going to do that, just don't release it. Or if they want to release like a new skin pack or a roster update, just have like a DLC, you know, like five, ten bucks and that's it. But not charge full price for a retail game that's exactly the same game as last year. It's complete horse crap. And I'm going to pause the video here and I'm going to show you comparison shots. First on the, on the Vita version, then I'm going to do comparison shots of the Wii version. So as you can see, especially on the Wii version, uh, with the actual uh, gameplay footage, it was kind of hard to tell the difference, especially with the very last one. And I don't understand, well, actually I can't understand why. Quick, easy bug, you know, they only spend maybe like five, ten grand, you know, just for the, for the Wii version. You know, that's just e easy, quick money right there. And maybe double the amount for the Vita version just because the Vita is a newer system. It's like, alright, we'll put a little more effort into the Vita version just because it's a newer system. It sounds crazy, but this is one of these crazy situations where a gaming publisher has the audacity to re release the same game. I understand that companies will re release a game, but they actually tell you this. In this particular case, EA is re-releasing the same last year's game at full price and calling it a brand new game. And the fact that they haven't really been sending out review copies for the Wii and Vita version and that rumors started going around and EA basically says like, oh yeah, you know, it has, you know, all these modes and stuff like that, but they didn't really get into why they did this. So if EA is watching this, or if uh, EA finally decides to fess up and explain themselves, please do so, because we kind of want to know why you're trying to screw over your customers that buy your sports games, that buys games like Dead Space, um, you know, Battlefield, things like that. But why, especially with the sports games, there's it's already bad enough that you guys do incremental updates, but this is not an update. This is just a reskin of last year's game. Why? Tell us why. So, you know, that that's, that's all I have to say. And um, for them, 
I have to give them the middle finger and uh, I wonder if the Vita version has the online pass if they do that's even a bigger middle finger to you guys but I'm not sure about that but the audacity that they had the balls to release the same game and call it a brand new game it's pretty shocking it is so uh, that's all I have to say what do you guys think make a video response leave a comment down below I really want to know because you know I I played a lot of EA games and I used to play a lot of EA sports games I don't m much as much anymore especially the sports games I used to play some uh, EA games but stuff like this kind of pisses me off and pretty much wants me, wants me to boycott EA altogether and you know it was bad enough with the whole online pass and things like that but at least they were selling you a brand new product in this case they're selling you the exact same last year's product just with a different name on it so that's it like always have a good one